Hey, Ted, how you doing, sir? Pretty good. Monday night for Combat Commander. Looking forward to it. That's right. We are back with our second game of the Normandy Battle Pack campaign game. This is our usual disclaimer. If you've not watched game one yet, please stop here. You don't have to, but it's highly encouraged that you go back, watch the first game again, because otherwise we're going to spoil lots of little details for you. Uh, so you have been warned, but going forward from here on out, this is, I'm hoping it's going to be a turning point. We're back. We're back on the same map again. Hooray. We're still in Bokaj Hell. Ted took the last game just by a hair's breadth there at the very end. <laughs> and I'm hoping that my luck will turn around tonight. I'm hoping. That's not how the German history books are going to tell that battle. I'm just going to say that, uh, you know, it was a decisive victory of strategic prowess <laughs> and all kinds of other daring maneuvers. Of not course. Just by the it wasn't just a firefight back and forth. A house in a bunker. House in a bunker. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we're going to do also, for those of you who are following along with this, we'll probably shave about 10 to 15 minutes off of this because we've got this down to a science now. We're going to just go through the steps of the random scenario generation process and then just jump right into game two here. Ted, before I get started as I'm pulling up anything, how you doing, man? Tell everybody what's going on. Pretty good. Looking forward to this. Combat Commander is becoming a way of life at this point. Between this and the ladder and the pickup games I'm getting in between, I think it's in my blood now, so. It is. I mean, it is truly a way of life. I, I thought ASL was the way of life, but it's, I mean, this one is pretty close for me. I don't need to have, I have a small binder for it with all of my scenarios in it. I don't have a giant binder with all the rules, so that means it's just immensely playable for me. Uh, also, just to point out here, some of the little differences, for those of you who are decided to stay on and forego the first game, the situation thus far is that Ted, in his victory last time, decided to not only promote, well, he got the opportunity to pr promote now second lieutenant Heinzman, but he also opted to reduce the quality of the American forces down to green level, which is unfortunate, but they're still boxed firepower and they're still fives. They just don't have as much movement capability because they're dragging their feet until Sergeant Craighead will get them moving along, I hope. The other, pulling up the the campaign specific information the only difference here is that ted used two of his german fortification points in the first game and now he still has five remaining and we'll see what else may occur tonight but are you ready to get underway sir let's rock let's do it all right so i'm opening up the first set where again we're still on map two and if the americans win we get off of this damn map with Four lines of sight. But the first thing we need to do is to determine our map configuration, which is my job as the Americans. I will now draw a card, and I get a one! And a one means the top of the map here, according to this. So the Americans will be approaching from the top of the map, Germans down here on the bottom of the map. So that's good, I guess. I don't know, there's possibilities everywhere. Uh, let's reset that deck. Okay, so we have determined that configuration. Now we just move on. The year nationality already pre-programmed, of course. We're in 1944. Troop quality also predetermined. So now the next thing we need to do is determine the fine, fine objectives for this game. Uh, since you drew the open one last week, Ted, I will take this one. So here's our open. And it says to me that uh, the house... Once again, that house is worth three victory points. I think that's the exact same one as last time. That house has got a lot of holes shot into it from the last game we had. But it's so. got a nice, nice canning room and a place for <laughs> storing your preserves in the basement, I guess, here. Uh, go ahead and grab your specific objective. Will do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh la la. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. The, it rears its ugly head, so this clop of trees here is worth 10 victory points. Good gosh. All right, what's mine? All right, I have mine. So, very, very interesting. <laughs> the amount of blood and treasure expended for that clump of trees, I suspect. Well, in last game, I spent most of my game here, and you spent most of your game there, so exactly. it looks like this might be a repeat of that. Well, yeah, maybe. 
depends on how far I get to uh, to move forward from the top of the map. Uh, so objectives are done. Now we do our orders of battle. And as uh, we pointed out, the command platoon is already set up. So we have that. We know what were available to us. We have, uh, for me, I even either have Bowen and Cawthorn. You have Hummel and uh, Colonel Rhubarb, as I like to call him. And uh, somebody else, right? Who else do you have? Oh, you all have Becker as well. So any of those Indeed. possibilities. Uh, so the, all we need to do here is draw one or more of the leaders out onto the map. And just to re uh, refresh everyone, the, the units up here in the upper right hand, they are exhausted. They're taking a smoke break somewhere off at the edge of the battlefield, but they're not available in this particular film. So I think we'll just count to three and drag out whatever units we wish to use for this particular battle. What do you say? Oh, uh, let's uh, let's remind everybody at home what those individual leaders will give us. Uh, Cawthon is my big boy. He's the leader of the engineers. He would come with a scout. Bowen has uh, some elites, which would be nice considering I got greenies. And Ted. What have you, you got? A, a whole dearth of things. Yeah, out both there. Uh, both Hummel and Becker uh, hail from the uh, Falschmager part of the Wehrmacht, while Corporal Rubart is a Volksgrenadier leader. So he's uh, got a few Volksgrenadiers. He, he knows how to deal uh, with the him. youngins, right? <laughs> he's a man of the people. He is a man of the people. All right, so let's count to three. Let me uh, think about what I'm going to do here. Um, yeah. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. So on the count of three, we'll drag out our leaders. So here we go. One, two, and three. So. All right, I claim objective five. Ten <laughs> points for the Germans. If only it were that easy. <laughs> so I have decided to take Cawthorn, Cawthorn and you have taken Herchamel. Uh, so that is Cawthorn good. coming with his mortars and oh, his satchel yeah. charges yeah. and all his goodies. Engineers, baby. So <laughs> it's gonna right. it's gonna be expensive, but uh, it it might be worth it considering that objective five. So I'm gonna pause it here. We're gonna put our units over into the command platoon, get everything squared away, and then we will move on to the support roles. We have built up our command platoon. It is now to pay for these fine fine platoons. Uh, I have grabbed twelve, so I must give the Germans twelve points, which I will do here. There you go. And what does yours cost? And I will give you 10 back, because Hummel and his parachutists are still worth 10 points. No. So I will mark that up for you. Oh, I'm still winning. All right, so let's continue on down the path. Uh, we've paid for the initial forces. We got our leaders. And now it is time for the support roles. And Ted uh, is obligated I must, must! I must make request more equipment! Indeed, because look at that. Oh, I've got all these beautiful mortars and satchels. <laughs> we went shopping. It's like the Merovingian. I don't know how many bullets you have, but I don't think it's enough. <laughs> all right, so what do you get? All right, so I get to do a die roll, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Indeed. All right, let's roll a dice and see what we get. A nine. Well, let's go to the commissary and see what they've got for us. We'll say we get Benzing or Grind. Would you like another Falschmager? Not really. This is not a slut. Where's that? I want to play the reroll card. Wow. wow it's wow, all wow, turning wow. around for old Gil now. <laughs> so, looking through the options, if I get it down to zero, then we play with whatever. Or, well, then you go to ar we go straight to armor support. That's right, yeah. If, right. You get, if you don't put it on my side, I won't get a support roll, yeah. So, well, this is just not great. Let's go shopping. And we can buy multiples of these guys, right? Absolutely. 17 parachute squads. <laughs> um, we'll take two parachute squads and give it over to you for plus two then. Okay. Does that sound reasonable? That, that sounds sound like, uh, more than something reasonable. we can do? And quite generous, in fact. <laughs> quite generous. So you're going to pay me four... Grab my card here. Okay, so now I must make a roll as well. Here is my roll. And it's an eight. An eight something in, different. It is something slightly different. I got 
Sergeant Bergstrom and weapon team with another medium mortar. Ooh, three of those. That well, be and a mortar leader. And a, uh, yeah, I've got a scout, so. Or I could get a line squad. I think I will pay two victory points and take a weapon team and yet another medium mortar. So. Where's that scout at? I gotta. He's marked, he's a marked man right <laughs> now. Is. We're sending a, we're sending his entire squad at that guy. We're gonna dig him, dig him the biggest trench possible. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you two victory points now, and we are tied. Well, we've completed both of our support roles. Thus, we move on to the uh, specific part of the Normandy, and that is the first option for me to take American armor support. Uh, just a reminder to everybody how this works. I've got five discretionary points for the entire campaign. I would spend a point and then pay basically four plus one, but five victory points. I would give that to Ted, and then I would get a 75 millimeter radio for off-board tanks shooting. Exciting. Yeah. And then, of course, then you could counter that. But the question is, with all of this fine, fine medium mortar that do have the capability of smoke... I think I'm going to forego spending any American armor points this time. So I will skip that. And uh, obviously, you still have the option for German armor support if you wish. Yeah, I don't like this is the way this is going. I think I misplayed that already. If we don't do anything, if I don't do anything, we're going to be in recon mode for both of us, right? It would seem that way, yeah. The artillery always seems to... I never have good luck with the artillery because I end up blowing up my own guys. Let's stay with recon, I guess. Okay. So you're foregoing your armor I'm support. I'm foregoing my armor support. Right. Um, would you like artillery support then? I would not. Okay. So that's drifting nowhere back toward you. And because I did not take the armor support, then by default, my air superiority marker is going to switch to ground support so that's nice and remember that works where interdiction events become air power for me until such time as ted draws his own interdiction which will then cancel that for the remainder of the game but hopefully i'll get at least one use out of it that'd be kind of nice maybe all right so then we have not shifted the posture anymore and we determined that our posture is of course Recon. So we're going to switch both of us over here to Recon. And that means there will be no purchasing for a Defender. However, the Germans do have defensive preparations for the Normandy campaign. So would you like to exercise and spend any fortification points in this game, Ted? So, it's, and you, so you'll have to set up your forces first. Correct. Yeah. And then because yeah. we're in wide mode, it would be four deep. So there will be a two hex no man's land there. Um, well, let's look at the map here. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Which three would fall right in? <laughs> I know that. Well, that was a. Uh, it was a uh, kind of a key thing, right? Because uh, being able to be in recon mode versus attack mode, setting up in that that big hex right off the bat. Right. I'm not sure there's going to be any places where fortifications are going to benefit me in this particular game because. Got to get to objective five there, I think. Yeah, so it doesn't really seem that there's any place that's going to be too terribly productive for me to be putting those fortifications. So uh, I'm going to say pass. Okay. That works for me. We have no German defenses in depth. So that moves us on to the normal. We'll switch back over into the Mediterranean step 10. And uh, we don't have a defender. We don't have an attacker, and we don't have fortifications, so we go right to 13 for recon setup. And as Ted pointed out, I have the higher initiative, so I'm going to take the initiative card. I will be going first, and I must set up first. And I will also get to place uh, control objectives on any objective locations that I put units in. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here, mull my setup for a few minutes, and uh, we'll be right back with Ted's. As always, I'm doubting myself 26 ways to Sunday, but I think I have completed my setup. So, Ted, I, I turn it over to you. Uh, I have marked objective 1 and 5 under my control, and then after you complete yours, we will assess all the points, and then we'll be underway. So, off you go, sir. All right, 
right. Ted has completed his setup, and I'm already starting to doubt my own, just seeing where all of these people are approaching from. Uh, okay, so it let us do the final steps here. Uh, done a recon. Oh, let's pay for our objective. So you have taken, you have only taken four, so we'll give you four. Is the axis. Uh, you have not taken three. Because it is just outside of your... Ability. You can't get to three. You can't That's get there from here. So the only one then, I will take possession of five and give myself ten victory points. Wow. One, two, nice. Three. Well played. Well, you know, it's all in the draws, <laughs> man. Next is the markers. Well, we are at zero on the time track. Our sudden death is determined by the total number of orders that we have. Let's see, based on the chart here. I will have three orders total. Ditto. And Germans will have three. So that means that our sudden death will be six. That's easy. And what else we got? Surrender level. Matching number. So what did I get for my total surrender level? With those, surrender for me is three and four. So I've got a surrender of seven. What's yours? Uh, Hummel is surrender of three, so I got a surrender of six, I believe. Okay. There you go. That's easy. Uh, we don't have any mines. We don't have any smoke and stuff in a cup. I mean, we do, but we don't. Uh, I will take the initiative card. The allied player. I have it. And then, finally, we... Draw up, and uh, I've reset both decks, so now we're each drawing five cards. And it is now each hour. Dump, dump, dump. <laughs> so, for our second game, sir, let me wish you the best of luck. You too. I'm going to need it. Let us see what we can do here. I have... No good firing lanes from where I am. So, presumably, firing is not going to be happening for a bit. So I will discard three useless cards for me and draw back up. And I will send it to you, sir. Alrighty then. I guess we will play a move order. And we'll activate the dudes on the right here and the first paratrooper will move one two three to cross the hedge four five okay this guy's gonna go one he picks up one mm -hmm. two three four five okay and then these guys will move one two three up to there oh hello Let's do a fire action there. And we'll activate these elites here. And they will fire on Heinzmann. We've got four. Do I have anything to add to that? Hand grenades. Make it six. Six plus. Four is a measly ten. So I'm going to be a 9 and a 9, I believe. That is correct. So bottom guy, top guy. Oh. Ooh, barely because that was yes. a very good roll. Yes, it was not a very good roll. And You get to save you... that recover card. I do. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know I had one of those? I'm just psychic. That's that order. And for our next order we are going to do nothing so it's over to you well that seems uh oddly precarious so i'm going to do a move order and we will run boys we will get them out of there so they have two movement points because of the the heft of that medium mortar so we'll go here basically for free and then one and 
2. And that's their order. Next order. And that is all. I will draw up and send it to you. Well, coward. We'll ditch two cards. Over to you. This is going to definitely be a puzzle tonight. I'm going to discard two and draw two. Back to you. We'll play a move order. So the first thing we'll do is we'll move up Heinzman the Fall Shimyagers to there. Okay. For uh, one. Um, I think I do. I have a line of sight there. So we will take that line of sight and we'll fire. Okay. So we're going to activate just these guys right here. And it's a four minus one for the minus two orchard. for the orchard. Right. Is it two? It's two for the orchard. Two. Yeah. So it's a it's a two shot. Two plus. Man, <laughs> just starting out great. Pass, uh, pass, sniper. Uh, of course, snipers. Let's see where this. Snipers is. gonna kill that guy. Uh, Bam. There you go. Kidding me, man. God. Let's take out uh, Break Cawthorn. Yeah, Break Cawthorn. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sadly, his trigger finger is blowed off. All right. So you've done both of those. Would you like to continue on? I do. We will play. I should probably do it now. We'll play the Assault Fire on Heinzman and Company. I should probably activate these guys just for kicks and giggles here. All right, so the Fall Shoemaker is going to be a 5. He's up to a 6 because of Heinzman, down to a 4 because of the Orchard. Well, never mind. You can just roll yours, too. Yes, so I'm a 9 with the uh, the Bocage, and I'm okay. The next move will be 1. Let's go move up 1. Move on to there for 2. All right. Here's a 2 roll coming at you. Two plus. Oh, that's better. Sniper. It's not helpful. So. So I'm going to be. You're what? Twelve. Yep. Oh yeah. So I'm eleven, 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 right? Yep. Yeah. So it's just three flips. Flippin' Z, flippin' Z, flippin' Z. Sniper says, "I'll kill Cawthorn." Where'd it go? Uh, on your scout. <laughs> Whoa, that's not, that's the wrong guy. Okay, so he made it, and then uh, he will. So he moved one, two. He'll go three, four, five. I guess he'll go. Yeah, he'll go there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll work. Okay. Here's the two roll plus eight is ten. Event, interdiction, <laughs> suppress a unit in a hex with less than one cover. So that is your um, first interdiction. So that is just canceling. Oh, that's my, right. That doesn't do anything. That ground support. Your, yep. Air power goes away, right? Yes, it does. Okay, yeah, okay good. Uh, Get rid of that thing. All right, next guy is going to go one, two. He's going to go up on that hex with Heinzman. Okay. So here's for three, two again plus. So that's just three rolls. Seven, yep. One event. Breeze, nothing. Uh, second fall, Schmieger, nothing. Leader, event. Battle Harden, one German unit becomes veteran. Let's make. Does the veteran status come off when you exit? It does. I don't want to just put it on just to lose it, right? I mean, that's. Of course. All right, we'll put the uh, we'll put it on him, and he'll move into that hex there. Okay, and I have no shot there. Oh, that's true too. And we will call that a day. So it's over to you, sir. All right. Well, as it just so happens, I have a recover card. Oh, I'm shocked on that. <laughs> Cawthon is a twelve. He rallies with an event. Ah, the hero has arrived. Well, of course. <laughs> oh, Lucas, it's nice to have you back. We are going to put you... We're going to put you here. 
And why not, really? And why not, indeed? Well, that was the recover. And that passes. He rallies. So next order. Yeah, let's do the fire order. And it will be Cawthon at all. Take a couple of shots here at those veterans now hiding around in there. So we'll do the machine gun first. Straight up. Here we go. 17 nominal 11 makes it. And now the engineers are a 9 plus. Ooh. 21. And we'll take that time advance. So time moves forward. I reset my deck. We don't have any smokes. Do you have any dig ins, sir? I do not. Okay. Uh, so that is all. So it's 21 to them. 18. Shell shock. Uh, break the unit close to random hex. Oh. So that mortar breaks. And that guy, the veteran, breaks. Okay. All right. Uh, next order. Third and final order will be a route. So we'll start down here with the rifles out in the open with the mortar. There are seven. They suppress as well. Uh, we have an event. Recon. What is your no. se secret objective? Oh no! You've already revealed it. <laughs> There's no secrets on the battlefield today. All right, and then your gentlemen up here are nine, ten. Ten. Yeah. yeah. 10, here we go, and they're fine. And that okay. is all drawing back up to you, sir. Um, all right, we will play the recover order. So we'll take off the suppression on the guy down south, and we'll roll for him. He's a 7. He doesn't do it. Then the other guy, the Falschmjager, he's an 8. He makes it. Next order, then we will play a fire order. We'll grab all these guys up here. And we will fire the two guys on the edge of the map into your Lucas and company. Okay. So it's going to be a five, six, seven, down two to a five, up to an 11. And we are uh, 9 and 11. So 9 for our squad, or our team. They're good. And Lucas is 11. He's good. Just barely. And then the Falsham Yager in the... Uh, the veteran Falsham Yager will fire at Lucas, or at the, your big stack in the Objective 5. He's going to be a 6... Uh, he's going to be up 17. Mm. Take that. Wow. So here's one of the things I've come to learn about you, sir. If I surrender the card to you, you will hold on to it like grim death. So I think... Well, you never know, though. I might need it this game. You never... This is a, this is a little different. Uh, it's a 17. But... Let's see what I've got here. I've got uh, 10, 12, and 11. So I think... Probably going to be okay. Mm. Uh, and, yeah, hey, enough of that. <laughs> so I, I will take it. I've will... seen you roll before, Patrick. Thank I know you. that there is. Thank you. Everybody on video has seen me roll, sir. All right, uh, I will take it. So engineers are a 12. Yes, the engineers 12. They're good with an event. Heroes already in play. Wow. How many heroes can we get? Every in American army must be a hero tonight. And Cawthorn is an 11. Ah. There you go. He's going to get better. So I will take it. So he will break. All right. 
All right, so I think I did as much damage as I can do with that order. But now that allows us to play the route order, if nothing else, so that's good. Won't hurt him at all, but we'll play it anyways. So we'll route him. With an event. Oh, kill somebody in action. Reconnaissance. Your opponent must reveal a secret objective. Well, all right then. Even right. this up a little bit. That's right. Uh, so number four, which you are occupying, is worth one victory point. So I will give you a victory point. There you go. Okay. And I will draw up. Well, I have to say, okay. this is, uh, this sucks. Well, it was like last game, nobody can see anybody, so you have a limited use of the cards. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. All right, we'll play a fire order. Okay. And so it makes sense to have, so we'll still activate this group here. Yep. They will fire there. Uh, and it's just going to be the Engineers at a 7. Yippers. So, uh, 7 plus. 6 is 13. 13, I am a 9, 10. He's an 18, he's good. Alright, next order. Yep, yeah, just use the, use a route. And we'll attempt to route these guys down here. The yep. rifles are 7. And they go back two. No. Uh -oh. We'll go one, two, I guess. Well, you know what? He's actually going to stay in range of uh, the leader. All right. That makes sense. I guess that is all for me. So back to you. Let's ditch three orders. Okay. Do a move order. Okay. I'm going to activate the scout. Okay. He's going to go one, two, three, four. Would you like to shoot at them there? I do. We'll activate just this guy here. And so he's going to be a six, seven, 16. The engineers. You know, this, you just did something that I would do, which is, yeah, I got a broken leader, and then you do something that gets him killed. I just want to say that that's what I would do. <sighs> I, am, so, I am aware. That's that's where I'm. You know, is it better to use the card now, or save it for an absolute total mm. desperation? So I'm going to. Uh, I'll let it float. So it's a 16. Uh, engineers are a 10. Here's their roll. They're good. And then Cawthon is a 12. Die, die, die. No, he's good. And the scout, oh, lowly scout. Get down, stupid. He's an eight. And he's broken. So, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, stays where he is. Okay. Next order. Let's do another route on you. So that rifle down there is in the open with a seven. He goes off map. With yep. a sniper first. Sniper in. Oh, uh, yeah. So we'll break your false Jaegers here. Avenge me, my snipers. So I'm gonna take two victory points, and we're good on that. Next order. Uh, I will draw back up. And it's two, sir. All right, we will. Play a fire order, and we'll activate all these dudes up here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fire into your Lucas and company again. So it's going to be a five, six, seven, five, six, seven, right? Seven down two, which is a five. So it's a five attack. Nine. Take that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's just two flips. Uh, yeah, the not a, yeah. yeah, and then Lucas. Event. Oh, I get air support no matter what. Ha ha! There's a <laughs> random hex. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, not us, not us boys. Nope. Silly, nope. silly fly right. boys. The veteran's gonna fire into your stack of broken leaders. So he's gonna be a sounds five like, six. Sounds like a Procol Harum album. <laughs> He's a 13 with an event. Hero, what? Where do I want the hero at? 
Deedle, you magnificent bastard. Well, that's a tricky thing. I reckon we'll put him up here. So that's that. So 13 to me. Uh, so let's see. We got uh, 10, 12, and 8. So 10 squad. Good. 12 leader. Good. Get rid of that mortar guy. <laughs> Uh, eight scout. No. Okay. Here's the here's the card. Oh come on. Where's your sporting thing? He's dead. I He's haven't dead. even gotten to use him yet. He's so, dead. Here's He's gonna a, die anyways. Eight scout. He's good. All right. So we'll take next order, and we will play recover, and we'll get that cat fall shimmyager in the building, in which he does. And we're out. Really? Yeah, that's my favorite part of this game. Really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is so incredibly stupid, but it's it's what I need to do. Uh, I'm going to play a move order. And I'm going to play it on these engineers right here they're gonna go one to there can't see it they're gonna throw out smoke grenades <laughs> catch I'm gonna draw a smoke shit it's a four they're gonna throw it in with better than usual <laughs> and uh, oh nice you're covering the guy so he can't uh... <laughs> nice <laughs> That's great. Hey, we got an order for you. <laughs> I want you to run out in the street and All then right. throw a grenade into the woods here so that you can protect us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they'll just go back into the trees. <laughs> I think you have a shot there if you wish. Uh, no, there's a better target than that sitting out there. Uh, next order. Draw back up. Send it to you. All right, we're going to play a move order. We're going to activate Deedle. He's going there. Okay. A fire. Oh! Deedle! <laughs> Not Deedle! Not Deedle! All right, so now it's time on Sprocket's been to dance. Uh, so we'll activate them. It's a 4-5. And... Uh, Five plus. Ugh, come on. You are terrible. Man, I'm terrible. Your strategy in this game sucks, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Deedle says, bah, we don't care. Okay. And then Deedle moves into there. All right. So now we'll shoot him again. Five plus. <sighs> Time event. Would you like to re-roll it? You have the card. Well, I do not want to re-roll that. Okay. So we will use the old time marker here. Reshuffle deck. Let us do that. Add one VP to defender. None. Remove a smoke marker. Get that smoke out of that hex. Boo! Then we will play diggins if we've got them. I will play no diggins. I will play a diggin. Although I don't know where I want to play the dig, and apparently I should be digging in guys that can be hurt by uh, <laughs> random snipers. We'll put some foxholes there with that mortar team. Okay. That was that. Lucas and company already fired, right? So they're out for the turn? They are. Play a move order. Mm -hmm. We'll activate these kids up here. And they will scurry off the map. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Very nicely done, sir. So two, four, six, eight VP, if I can't do my math right. Uh, let's see. Two for leader. Two, four, six. Yep, eight. Combat tactics, Mr. Ryan. All right. We got this veteran marker, right? Okay, so that was that. 
And I think that's all I've got to do this turn. So next order, we'll draw up. And it's over to you, sir. Gonna do a move order. And moving on up. We'll move these guys over here. They're gonna go one, two, three. Can't see it. Get a free. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Next order, I will draw back up. And it is to you, sir. Uh, we will discard four orders. Uh, yeah, we'll discard four. Back to you. And I will discard three. One. Back to you, sir. All right, we, uh, we can use this crap, I guess. First order is going to be an advance order. We're going to advance Deedle onto that hex there. Got any ambushes? I will play... An ambush. Oh, dang, Deedle, he's been flipped over. And then I will play another ambush. All right, Deedle's dead. Okay. He'll be back. <laughs> he will say it in a German accent, almost like... I'll, I'll be back. back. All right, then next trick, we'll play in advance order. And we'll advance... We'll play it on all of these guys here, although I think I'm going to need it. Advance him to there. So it gives me that VP. We just picked up objective three, which is worth three VPs, right? Yes. All right, so that advance there is done. That guy's staying there. That guy's staying there for now. So that's done. That order's done. And then we'll play a move order on the scout and he will go one, two, three, four, five, six. Might as well get that out of my hand. So I gotta, probably should change these uh, objectives. So I got objective three and I can make that con access control. But I think that's all I can do on that turn. No, right. Oh, really? Come on, come on. Discard and draw back up. And it is to you, sir. All right, we'll play an order. We'll do a fire order. And we'll f activate uh, all these kids down here. So the first thing we'll do is we will drop a mortar in on this guy. So it's one, two, three, four away, I believe, with the two hindrance. Yeah, so six total. So you need seven or better. Hits him. Six plus four is ten. Uh, I'm a five. You're a, uh, you're a four, but... Uh, those rolls don't count for negatives. Oh, that's right. We're in Normandy again. Yeah. Uh, Dang it. So we have an event. Suppress a unit with less than one cover. I will suppress your scout. Damn it. So, it's ahead. bad enough he's not doing anything. Now he's like cowering. Yeah, I'll let you do that. Um, you know, it's funny, when you play these games, you sit there and think, why is a guy getting suppressed? I don't know, if I was a scout by myself running around in hostile territory like this, I'm not sure I'm just skipping from what was that? to location. What was that? <laughs> exactly, what was that? Fast is lost. Uh, okay, so we did that. So then now the this rifle squad below him is going to fire. He's going to be a 5 firing into that hex, down 2 to a 3. Uh, which hex? So same guy, the squad's firing at the oh, same guy. Oh, the squad itself, yeah, it. of course. Right. Yeah. So we're just using this to get rid of these crappy numbers. Sure. So that's a 6, so he's good, he just got to roll. Slipping? You just got to go. Good. Okay. The Fall Shimyager with Hummel and the Light Machine Gun. We're finally getting something, uh, some firepower in here. We're going to fire in that hex there. Okay. 
So we are going to be a five plus two for Hummel is seven plus one flight machine gun is eight. Unfortunately, we don't have anything better than that to throw in there. So we'll do eight plus seven is 15. And we get an event. The event says blaze. Place a blaze and a random hex. Random hex is at the crossroads. <laughs> That's where the devil is. <laughs> <laughs> I went down to the girls' rooms. Well, that's going to put a kibosh on anybody running through the middle of the street. Not that, that is would want to absolutely at this point, true, but... right? Okay, so 15? 15. Uh, Let's see what we got here. 15. I believe I'm going to play a concealment on that and bring it down. Oh, boo, uh, come 13. on. You are just. Where's your sense of adventure? Uh, it, it died long ago, sir. 13. Uh. Wow, I just do not want to lose that scout, so we're going to play another concealment and bring it down to 11. Well, because it, still can, it go. can still, still happen. Going down. <laughs> He's still going down, just right. because. Engineers 10? Yeah, I'm sure See? Okay. See? <laughs> yeah, See? Yeah, what about, yeah. There's a method to the madness. Uh, Cawthon is a 12. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, thankfully, I brought it down to 11. Okay. Exactly. <sighs> And now the scout. Come on, big scout. There we go. Event. Saving the scout actually saved Cawthon. Uh, I still have a hero, so nothing there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, for the last trick, uh, this false shimiagra is going to fire at this guy here. I mean, five, six. Uh, six straight. Thirteen. Where's my air support? Event is interdiction. Suppress unit and hex with less than one cover. Let's suppress this guy here. Okay. And you got a 13 that you're going up against a 10 on. Uh, for there, yes. So 10 for the engineers. And just barely. <laughs> barely makes it. <laughs> Come on. All right. So that order is done. Next order, we're going to play a recover card to get our scout back in action. Take that. Just taunting you that I have a recovery card. All right. And we are good to go. You're back up. I'm guessing you figured that I, I don't have a recover card. <laughs> <sighs> so we'll do a route on ourselves. And uh, we'll we'll route the scout because he's an eight. He's, well, a, he's a nine. <laughs> so he's going to... What's on the street? He's, let's see, so that's three or so. Uh, let's see, that's three. Yeah, that's the that's the only place he can go, because there are no closer. And then uh, Cawthon is, of course, not going he's anywhere. Automatic. Yeah, he's fine. All right, next order. Well, that is all. I'm going to draw back up and send it to you. Oh, well, 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 what do I do here? Uh, I guess we should just do a repeat of last turn. We'll just fire everybody again. We got guns, lots of bullets. We'll take the mortar against the guy in the street. So this guy against this guy. Mortar targets. He says okay with an event. The event says scrounge. Return limiting weapon to your player under control. Why, yes, we want to do that. I swear. The rich just get richer in this game. Well, it's my own weapon, so it's really, I'm just... You know, plenty scrounges. Now you said a leader, a leader can operate one of these things. Yes. Mm, yeah. For those of you who are like spitting out your coffee right now, in the Pacific module, they made it so anything with a negative encumbrance could not be held and used by a leader. Sadly, though, they do not apply their command bonus to it if they're using it themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Damn it! Where's Deedle? He'd be great running around with a mortar. I guess we'll put it on this squad here for kicks and giggles. Okay. So what did we do there? We targeted you, and we haven't done anything yet. So now we're a six plus seven is 13 with an event. Seems like uh, a lot of cards were just drawn here. Breeze. Remove all smoke markers. All blazes. Spread in direction one. What? Coming up the road. Coming up the road. That macadam's on fire. <laughs> so, many, 
Somebody call the fire brigade. Okay, so you get a 13 that you're going up against him with a four. With these green... <sighs> what are you doing with green squads by this time in the war? <sighs> Fresh. I mean, yeah, that's true. It's like, curry. All right, a uh, four plus. They're broken with an event. Uh, heroes already in play. Wow, <laughs> that's like the fourth time Lucas. Lucas is like on the bench. Put me in, coach. Put me in, yep, coach. Put right. me in, coach. Uh, now the squad will fire at that same guy. So it's going to be a five down to a three. Uh, that's just an eight. All right, and he is now a six plus. Got my own sniper. Sniper. Sniper's on fire. She's the blaze. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the false Shimiaga in the house, and he's a 5-6, and he's going to target that guy, your scout. <sighs> he can see it, can he? But, yeah, you want to check line of sight. But yeah, I no, I just, I, uh, yes, of course he can. Yep, go ahead. So that's a 6 plus, 9 is 15. I'm just going to take a moment here and lament my fate. Just, <laughs> I did it to myself. I'm stupid. And, uh, yeah. All right. So here's six. <laughs> Ooh, almost. <laughs> almost. Almost. That's what hurts the most is that he dies on a 14 when you need a 15. Um, Again, after playing a number of these games with you, I am never volunteering to be the scout in your army because okay. your life expectancy isn't. Yeah. I'm going to give horrible. you a victory point for that. Thank there you. you Appreciate that. The last thing I will do is we will shoot with Hummel and company in the Fall Shimyager and his light machine gun. So it'll be a 7-8 going into here. 8 plus nothing. Right. So I think we're just two poles, right? Yeah, probably. Um, yep. Squad leader. Good. Oh, boy. That uh, Cawthorn's playing with, uh, playing yeah. with fire there. Yeah, he's, he's living on house money right now. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> okay. For the next thing we want to do is we would like to play a move order on our scout. And he will go one, two, three, four, five. He's got to try and get back in the action here. That'll be that order. And I believe we are done so you can have it back to yourself sir uh, remember i mentioned last game where i just always feel like i'm on my back heel um, yep i'm pretty sure i'm okay at this game I'm, I'm not a bad combat commander player but it is just this cascading effect of negative mush luck that it's just one thing after another and then then when you compound it by making a stupid mistake like Surely he's not going to run away, or at least he'll run far enough away. I'll get him out of the way, not one <laughs> hex and get shot. So, so, so Cawthorn like leaves leaves the uh, leaves the basement there that he's with Cawthorn. Or hey, I'm going to go get help. You guys stay here. <laughs> <laughs> I need to come up with some kind of variation of Combat Commander's version of be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. Noonan, Noonan, Noonan. <laughs> Come along, Spalding. I'm not having a good game so far. Let's let's just call this what it is. Here. Yep. It's uh it's not going well. So let's do what what can I do here? Let's staunch the bleeding here first. We're gonna play in advance order. And I'm gonna move we'll have Craighead activate everybody here. These guys are gonna go back there. And they're gonna go there. And they're going to go there. All right. Next wow. order. Um, Patrick, I have these mortars that need to be firing at something. I Yeah. <laughs> I am aware. <laughs> oh, boy. Howdy. All right. Do this. Activate these guys. They're going to take a step back into the woods there. <laughs> <laughs> dissolve away. You're, you're taking advantage of this map that you can't see anything. Well, I thought. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah know, exactly. They just get shot. That's, that's for sure. That is correct. And then I'm going to do a fire order. Cawthorn to here. 
Uh, we don't have a functioning machine gun, but we do have engineers with a seven. Seven. Dippers. Plus, seven plus. Seven is fourteen. Do we have an event. Ah, battle harden. Uh, we are going to make. Uh, yeah, because because he's broken, we're gonna make Cawthorn. He gets that. Oh, he gets veteran the... status. Yeah. Just because you can't afford to be losing him. That's right. That would truly be bad. That would. All right, so I'm going up against a 14, mm -hmm. and I believe my Fall Shimmy Igers will be a 13, and Hummel will be an 11. Sound about right? Sure. Yes. All right, Fall Shimmy Igers first. Good. And uh, 15, he's good. All right. Next order, I'm going to draw back up. And I will send it to you, sir. I guess we have to play a fire order. A lot, lot less crap to see at this point. Pummel and company will be firing at the usual suspects there at a five, six, seven, eight. And they will not use anything to increase their firepower. So it's eight plus nine, which is a big 17. We'll see if that veteran status helped you out there. I presume we're doing that. So, uh, yes, it's a 10 and 13. 10 and 13, yes. So 10 for the squad. And they break. Ooh. Because, of course. And Lieutenant 13. Ooh. I saw the one there and I thought, ooh, there it goes. <laughs> that is a pass. It's the end of my deck and an event, so we'll take this in steps. We will do a uh, time advance. It will reset my deck. There are no smokes. There are no uh, dig-ins. Anyone dig-ins? Dig-in, 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 dig-in. Nope. Okay, they're Negatory no, there, good buddy. No points. Uh, and so now I do the event. Wait, I get some reinforcements, right? Do that. Oh, of course, yes. Do your events. reinforcements, yes. Right. Now the question is, where do I want to put those guys? Um, take them up the left wing and see if we can't... Uh, that would just be my style, which would be to push somebody up there to do that and then lose the guy, lose the leader. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, so you've placed your reinforcements. Any dig-ins? Negatory. All right. It is now time for my event. Event draw. Interdiction. So... So you got uh, we well got a whole bunch of guys here. Yeah. Yes, that's that that fire attack that fire is now done. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the second trick, this guy will fire at this guy. Really, you got a line of sight there? Man, mm -hmm. you've studied this better than I have. Wow, look at that. Okay. So that's a four. Teen. 14, all right. So I am a 9 in the woods there. And just barely make it. Okay, so that fire is done. We will play a route order. Start with this green dude over here. Oh, I think that's the only... Oh, actually, yeah, we'll start with him. Well, I think he's going to run away. I believe you are correct. So let's uh, take that in steps, of course. So we'll do the time event. I must reshuffle my deck, which I shall do presently. Done. Okay. No smoke. Uh, then a 1VP for Defender. Nothing. One smoke marker. I think all the smoke is gone. Right. Dig-ins. I still don't have any dig-ins. Okay. Uh, none for me. So he is eliminated. And so we'll take, take two VPs, two VPs for that. Now we got two more uh, roles. We've got uh, the engineer here and Cawthorn. So the engineer first. Oh, we're not going to run. We're just going to kill him with the sniper. Ooh, almost. And then Cawthorn. Ooh, almost. Uh, he wasn't going anywhere. And I think we're done with that order and we will turn it back over to you let's take this in steps shall we 
Let's do our first recover card. Oh, you get all the luck in the world. You <laughs> got a recover card after I'm three time you, events. Man. Come on. All right. Cawthon first. Cawthon's fine. He rallies. Okay. Uh, engineers are now 10, 13, or 14. Yeah. Uh, no, they're 10, 12. Engineers are 12. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, almost. That is all for that. We have working weapons again and unbroken peoples. Yippee ow. Let's do fire order. And we'll fire from the stack. We'll fire onto Hummel. And first we'll do the engineers. They will be a nine plus. 9 is 18. 18, I guess we'll have to eat that. Falschimiagers are going to be a 7 up to a 10 up to a 12. So I'm a 12 and 11, right? Mm, that's right. 12, 11. So the 12 first says, eh, we'll break. And then the leader says, but we're not. Um, and okay. now... now... Coffin. Uh, we'll shoot the medium machine gun at the same target. He does not give his bonus to it, so it's just right. a six. It's a six. I will uh, sustain it to make it eight. Okay. Sustain and break it. Eight plus. Five is 13. 13. The false Shimyager is this, uh, he's the same as he was, so it's another 12 and 11. So 12, he's good. Loving he's good. All right. And then finally, we'll do a move order. Activate Lucas in the medium order here. And they're going to go. Let's see, they've got a total of two. So they'll go one, two, and three for the freebie. Next order. That is all of my orders. Back to you. All right, shouldn't do that, but we'll play the recover order. So he's going to be uh, 13 or some such. He makes it. And that's that order. And then we will play a fire order. And we'll fire these guys. Hummel will fire first. It'll be a 7 8. It'll take it into Cawthorn's hex at 8. Roll a 16. Okay. Oops. Rolled a 12,116. <laughs> 12 and 12. Uh, 12 plus. Good. 12 for leader. He's good with a sniper. The sniper does not help. And then the light machine gun will go after that medium mortar again, like we did last time. So it's going to be a four plus. Not enough. So you can just flip a card flip and we'll call card. it a day. Good. And you can take a turn. Fire order again. Let's see. Same bat target. Uh, do a couple of shots here once again. So uh, nine for the engineers first, plus five is 14. And so 13, 11. 13, 11. Good, good. And medium machine gun, simply six plus. 7, 13, the event. Ah, smoke spreads to direction south. Okay. So I will put that out there. Marker, blaze. And that goes right down here into the orchard. Mm -hmm. So 13. Good. Event says malfunction. Break the unbroken weapon close to random hex. Random hex says... Oh, come on. 
So the light machine gun for uh, Hummel is now broken. Well, we'll have to do something about that. And then Hummel himself got a roll, I believe. Right? Yeah, one, seven, one. yeah. Sniper. Oh, it's even oh, up with the sniper. Let's see what happens. Random hex. It's a seven. What is that seven. to that weapon? It's gone. It busted. Got to change those barrels out. So that is all for the firing. Next order. Uh, I'm going to do a move order. We're going to activate Lucas. And uh, the elites with him, they're going to go there. And they're going to throw out smoke grenades. <laughs> <laughs> Do that last time. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I always get ones, twos, and threes. Uh, yeah. Better than zero, I guess. It is better than zero, and they will go into there. What would you like to do? That's their second movement? That was their second movement, yes. Oh, well, we, uh, yeah, we got to shoot. So, one, two, three, four, five. So only the light can hit him at four. I just want to do that entire turn, if that's okay with you. That'd be great. Okay. A very interesting situation. All right. Um, they will stop there. So, next order. Uh, and it's to you, sir. Well, that was pretty heinous. We will just discard a card and pull two new ones. Over to you. I will do a fire order. Activate them. And the team with the medium mortar. Um, okay. We'll attempt attempt to do the medium mortar first to here, and it is one, two, three, four, oops, yeah, it's five plus two for the hindrance, so it's a seven, I need eight or better, and I miss, okay, because, of course, and then we'll do the shots from here into Hummel, and, uh, we're just going to do one big shot. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ten plus. Nineteen. Nineteen, and we're not doing nothing about that. So, nineteen for the squad, which is going to be a eleven, twelve, thirteen. He's okay. Hummel says uh, six... 11, 17, I think he breaks. 11, 6, and 17, yep, he breaks. All right, that is all for that. I'm going to do a move order on Lucas. He's going to go one. Anything? Mm, nope. Two. Um... Sure. We will activate this deck here. Um, and we will play an action to fire. So it's going to be a 5 plus 7 is 12. Okay, we're a 9 plus. <laughs> Breaks because he's moving. Oh, <sighs> deep, deep exhalation, cleansing breath, fine. Okay, next order. That's what he's for. And we're going to draw back up. And it's to you, sir. Well, I'm going to take a picture out of your book from last game, which is we are not standing in that hex to just get pummeled. So we are going to play an advance order on Hummel. And he is going to move back to here. And that's that order. Then we will play a move order on these cats down here. 
the question is, is where we want to take them. Yeah, hind spindle move one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We'll stay there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Done with that. And then we will play a route order on your Lucas Hero dude. Sniper. Sniper says nada, but it's a L9. So avoided breaking that machine gun. And that's it. So over to you. Gotta get some more cards here. No, oh, that's better. I'm going to discard three and draw back up. That's to you. Yeah, we'll discard one, two, three. Yeah, we'll discard three. <laughs> I, I will play a recover on myself. Lucas, he rallies. Event. Air support. Come on, air support. Still not helping, guys. Killing me. Uh, and that's a two, so that does nothing to your weapons. Uh, so he rallies. Next order, we'll play a route on you. So it's just Hummel. He's not going anywhere, but here's a draw. And it's fine. Next order, draw back up. It's to you, sir. Uh, we're just going to give her one card. Over to you. I'm going to play an advance order. And I'm going to advance Lucas into there. Okay. Next order. Uh, I will do a move order. I'm going to activate these engineers. And they're going to go one, two. And uh, I believe you can see me there if you'd like to take a shot. Um, I would not. Okay. Uh, and they will tr spend a point to transfer the satchel charge to Lucas. So he's got it now. Um, and that is all they're going to do. Next order, draw back up, and to you, sir. This is going to come down to the end, I think. Just like the last game, it's going to be like... It's going to be another heartbreaker. Well, we can only hope that it's your heart that's broken. Sorry. Just, you know, because it has to be. We will play a recover card first. We're going to recover the leader. Hopefully. He's a 12, so I guess he's going to make it. He does. And then we're going to get rid of that order. Then we're going to play an advance order. And we're activating pretty much anybody that he can see. I probably regret doing this, but I can't give a false shimmyager for that. That'd be terrible. This guy will advance into there. This guy will advance into there. This guy will advance up to there. Pummel will advance into there. This guy will advance up into there. Oh, but will leave his foxholes back. This guy will advance into there. So these guys are going to advance into there. He'll advance up to there. He was in that hex there. He'll go up to there. Wow, a lot of Germans. Next order. And we are done. So you can take your turn. Let's do a fire order. Activate all of these songs. Surprise! Lucas, right? Yep. Okay. Um, let's start with the mortar first here. Okay. Target there. Yep. So, as we said, it's a seven. I need an eight or better. I get it. 
So it's going to be a nine shot plus 11 is 20. If it stands. Oh, it does. Okay. Time event. Reshuffle my deck. Done. Add VP for defender. Nope. Remove one smoke marker. Hey, there you go. <laughs> dig in cars may be played. Yes, we have a dig in. Do you have a dig in? Uh, we'll play no dig ins. I will play a dig in. We got to get some foxholes here. I reckon we'll put them there. And I think that's that. All right. So you passed. So right. I passed. Mm -hmm. All after all that passed. Yep. Twenty-three on a twenty-one. I mean, I I don't know what I can do better. I mean, I just it's driving me crazy. <sighs> all right. Let's. See. let's you know, you got to let, let me stack the deck beforehand. I mean. It takes a long time to put it's the German the cards in just the right order. That's right. One, two, three. Okay. So, medium order's done. Uh, we will now do the engineers here at your Falschermagers here. So, we'll shoot through the hedge, seven plus. There's another 11, so 18. 18. And oh, um, just minus a... minus one for the uh, for the field. Yep. So seventeen. There you go. Seventeen. I'm um, a seventeen, so I'm suppressed. <laughs> uh, I would like to just win one game. Just one game. <laughs> just one more game. Just one. It is not to be. All right, let's check line of sight on... I cannot hit that, but I can still shoot at Hummel, so we will continue for the firefight against Herr Hummel, and we will target there. Is there anything I can make that better with? So they're just going to shoot as one big shot. 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 plus. 17. Event... He wounded. All right. Uh, I think I'll bring the scout back. <laughs> because I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's put him out on the board momentarily. What is the random hex? This will check your... Yep. Your LMG. <laughs> oh. G8? Yes. Yes. You know what? We'll put him there. That's fine. Okay. Next order. Uh oh. So that's a. Uh, that was seventeen to you. Seventeen to me. Ten. Seventeen. Yep. Okay. And I am a. Uh, ten. Thirteen. Eleven. So thirteen coming up first. He doesn't make it, but we'll play light wounds. There you go. All right. So that's that. And then the leader, 718. I think he makes it right. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So you got an event? Oh, I did get an event. Okay. Let's get an event. You walking walk wounded. wounded. <laughs> get an enemy unit and place him in one hex broken. Um, what do we got in here? You got you a got rifle? I got a green. Uh, we'll place your guy. Uh, seven, there. which destroys your light, light machine gun. Hey, yippee! <laughs> we'll put him, it doesn't matter where I put him, we'll put him back here. Okay. I come to regret that. I, yeah, I do want to take the chance that I would end up getting my guy and then right, let's exactly. drop him right oh, next yeah. to one of your guys. Yeah, that's right. Of course, he would have dropped up here or something, then he could just walk off the map, but... Right, that was I think that's all done. Yep. I think uh, all your firing's done. Uh, that is all of that firing. So next order. That was first order. We'll do another fire order. We'll activate both of these. Uh, Craighead and the greens will fire on them. 
in the suppressed unit. Uh, so there are 6 plus 8, 14. 14, I'm a 9. Made it. <laughs> okay. Uh, medium mortar uh, and the elites will fire on your mortar team. So it's a uh, 1, 2, 3 to hit. So 4 better. Gets it. That's what I really needed. Um, so it's a 9 shot plus 16. Event. Wooly Pete! Um. Oh, uh, is it squad. a squad? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. That is a shame. How it breaks. Better, your, uh, your scout wasn't walking around with some Willie Pete in his pocket. No. Um, <laughs> that would be just epic. I don't know that I want to. Yeah, I would think probably. No, it doesn't really help me anywhere. So yep. I will forego it. So it's a, a 16 right. to them. 16, and I am going to be an 11 which is not enough. Okay. okay. And now the elites will shoot down there. They're a four plus nine is 13. 13, and I am a 10. Sniper. Sniper says nada. All right. That's next. Oh, and that was, uh, what text was that? That was uh, a, uh, do seven. I have anything left that's unbroken? <laughs> uh, seven, so that does kill your light machine gun. Uh, great. Which I think went with the green anyway, but we caught it this time. Pink. Okay. Gone. Um, that is that order. And then now we'll attempt to recover. So we got a, we'll do the greens over here first. They're in an orchard, so they're an eight. Mm. They fail. They fail. <laughs> that, that is why you fail. <laughs> All right, here is the time advance. This will be, you know what's, you know what's going to happen here, Patrick. I know what's going to happen here. I know. I, I, I've been to this rodeo a couple of times. All right, so uh, first thing I must do, I reset my deck, is a check on time. So f five or less, and that's it. Congratulations, <laughs> oh, sir. <geez. laughs> It is not to be. Man. All right. <laughs> I, I'm out of superlatives at this point. Uh, yep. You're just, uh, you're getting hosed at every turn there. So let's just, let's just call that for what it is. It is what it is. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, well, so we've got no, we've got no victory points to share. So the final score is two German. I think that was what it was last time, wasn't it? It was really, really pretty close. close. It was, yeah. that was something similar to that. Um, so I'm going to let you discuss your talking points on this one, you know, your final analysis. Well, I just want to say the only thing that was disappointing about that is, and I'm not complaining, get me wrong, but this would have been like the fire of all fires. Everybody was going to be able to be lit up next turn, right? Because uh, let me just activate all my guys. I mean, pretty much everybody can see everybody, right? You know, this guy is going to be targeted. This guy's going to be targeted. This guy, I mean, I could see everywhere. Now, the only thing is you broke this guy, which was kind of a pain because he could have dropped a couple things in there or there or whatever like well, actually couldn't have gotten to there but he could have gotten to there right so i was like i was getting so excited to to do the fire because it would have just been guys shooting everywhere. i'd have probably burned up 20 cards but oh yeah yeah and but if i, I had mean, to get if i had to trade that for a time event and then a four okay i guess <laughs> that's I'll right that, so that's, that's right um my hope of course was get get the scout working and then next turn just activate him and start pulling down. He's in a good spot there. I was hoping to just get one use out of him just once. I've yet to get a <laughs> scout to use. <laughs> so, guess what? We're staying in the bocage. Yep. Well, hey, so you were talking about strategy. I think the the thing is when those first guys got up there, I had to, I wanted to get out of, I didn't want to have to try and assault that thing because I'm mean, with a two liter in there and a big machine gun and engineers. That would be painful. Um, so I tried to, get the points early on to try and even up the score a little bit. And that was fantastic. But, yeah. But then what I probably, I mean, it was after I put the guys down here for the second time, I'm like, 
Uh, I should have just tried to do a rinse and repeat action because yeah, there wasn't there wasn't a lot stopping them. And it would have been nice to use the fire cards over here and use the move cards over here. So that was kind of a, a blunder on my part. Now, it didn't end up costing me, but still, it was not Well, was not once again, you closed the gap and you made me consider how badly do I want to lose a nice uh, engineer team with the mortar and because yep. you went this way i could not shoot at you which was great um so that that worked like a charm man and you got eight points just right there i mean took it down from 10 to 2 and uh it was it was just unbelievable how well that worked and even you you, you had me wondering if you were actually he's coming right for us so i decided i was just gonna be prudent come back here and just try to slow you down a little bit and that yeah, it didn't work out so well, but yeah, having the scout back here to start, uh, I I was just reticent to put him here to begin with, even though that would have been smart. I just wanted to just have him live, but as soon as he got there, he got shot, and then it all went downhill from there. So, yeah, scout that, man, he's he's the drummer for Spinal Tap, I swear. Well, and here's the thing: is that scout, it's especially the the scenario that you have with those three mortars. You know how much hellfire that guy can rain down. Yeah, jeepers, yeah. creepers. That's and smoke options. You know, yeah, I was uh, I was very fortunate. Was able to jump on that, and then because this one was worth three points, that's really the only victory points I kind of earned. I mean, I killed the scout, which was okay, big deal. But mm. um, yeah, it was. Uh, but you, I mean, you, 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 the thing I think that hurts you a little bit was the fact that these guys being green, it's hard for them to push. Yeah. Right. I mean, they they made the push as soon as they started going down, but once that guy broke yeah. and then ran and off, like, the other eh. guys are also green. Yeah. Right? So exactly. You sniffed it out, of course. The goal was to, if I got a bunch of superfluous cards, was to take Lucas and try to come over here and harass Hummel this way. Yep. Uh, but then you, you started the, the the realignment, which was exactly what you needed. Uh, but I, I did want to throw a satchel at somebody. That was my goal, was to get in there, assault fire with a satchel, and just all I needed was one or two units, and then it'd be back on my side. And that's well one time right And now. I knew... I knew I had to try and get this game over because this exchange of fire, I'm on the opposite side that you were last game, right? right? And this is just not a fair, it's not a fair fight for the German in this thing with the amount of firepower the American can throw in there. So I'm like, the longer that goes, the worse it's going to be for me. So yep. I'm like, oh, I got to do something different. So. But we've also proven uh, for you Vegas odds makers out there that you can spot me 10 points at the beginning and I will <laughs> still lose the game. Because that's what I do. Uh, I'm going to discard my entire hand and get us ready for the uh, completion part of this, where we, and you could do the same with your deck. Oh, yep. I'd do the same thing. You're right. And um, we will move on to the completion steps of this, which is, uh, let's see, move on. Battle results. Well, step one, check for campaign victory. It is now officially. Two victories in favor of the Germans. So I am 0-2. Uh, we take our spent units, with the exception of our leader, our command platoon leader. So I'm going to put, uh, let's see, Cawthon is going up to the tired pile. And Craighead will, of course, reset. Our campaign position is going to be yet again on this map. So we are, I am heartfully sorry that this is going to become <laughs> the most boring map in the world for you. But hopefully with different orientations each time, it keeps you coming back for more. But I apologize. I'm trying. Uh, command platoon leader promotion. Well, once again, we see that uh, Lieutenant Heinzman is going to become now first Lieutenant Heinzman for his uh, excellent prowess on the battlefield so we've done that and then now the true quality adjustment well i can't get any worse what would you like to do i guess um since i can't make you like super green <laughs> i will uh i'll take uh elite status so i guess we will bump you up to elite status then well, that's fantastic uh and now we do not have the day of rest yet so we move on and we request our regimental headquarters for something from division, please. Come on down. So we reset the deck. I'm the loser of the game. So I will roll <laughs> once. Soy, your, uh, your accent so... <laughs> gets more sarcastic as, as these games are going on. <laughs> Soy un perdedor. So why don't you kill me? Uh, I will roll. Let's see what I get. 
It's a three. That three. Potentially promising, yes. Corporal uh, Miller? Hey, that's exactly who we need. Is Corporal so, Miller good? Uh, well, it's Tom Hanks. Uh, he's Captain Miller. So, All right, then he's good. Three yeah, lines and a light so, mortar, more mortars. Good yeah, So we're going to bring him up, Corporal Miller. So I have Bowen and Miller potentially for next time. What do you have? Um, I would like to roll, and I will roll a ten. And you get which will two, give me two Sergeant rolls. Hummel. Don't want that. No, nope. I get two rolls, right? Yep. So we will roll again and get a seven. Which is Gessler. Which will be Gessler. All right. So we get Gessler. Bink. All right. Uh, and we have Rubart and Becker from last time, I think. Uh, Rubart's the guy I got the first time. And then Becker's my onion leader. Oh, okay. Leader. Gotcha. So you have three. And, and who I... do you got? I think you got Ewing, and, right? Uh, no, no, no. I only had uh, just Bowen oh, was the only one I had Bowen. used in Miller. Bowen and Miller. Yep. Miller just got promoted. So uh, so we'll bring, uh, put all these guys together. The bottom. Yeah, I was, a little, I was a little nervous on this one, too, because I knew you had Bowen coming up, the two leader. And if Craig doesn't get promoted, I'm going to be faced with two one leaders in the next game. So fortunately, that uh, yeah. worked out okay. All right. Well, let's see. I think that is Holst your road. Yes. So uh, what I will yep. do is, as we do each and every week, I will, luckily, on this same map, because it's so easy, I'll just uh, set, up, <laughs> set up our new save file, and we will be good to go uh, for next time. But, Ted, you hand me my shirt each and every week, and yet, here it is. It's it's a joy to play. So thank you for being here. Uh, for you gentle viewers out there who are snickering at my wonderful turns of good fortune, uh, thank you all for being here week in and week out on this, the same map again. Take a moment to click that like and subscribe to support the little channel here in this project. That tells YouTube that you like what we are doing and that you'd like to see more content like this. And of course, lots of playlists of one-off games from the latter, which is really why we're doing this. Just entice you with information about joining the Combat Commander ladder. Uh, the only thing missing right now is you. So if you've got any experience or any interest in the Combat Commander game itself and you would like to play, come join us on the ladder. Uh, we, we will have lots of opportunities for you to play. I'm also showing you our current financial supporters. We got a, a new one this week, so thank you. You see your name there on the list. We really appreciate the bucks that you guys kick in. Some of you do it on a monthly basis, so that really helps pay for the incidentals. And that's all I've got, Ted. I'm going to go lick my wounds for another week here and see if I can perhaps learn how to play Combat Commander again. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to fly back to Berlin and have a meeting with Albert Speer about the construction of these light machine guns he's been feeding me because clearly uh, we got we got some production anomalies we got to take care of, some quality control. That's uh, right. They're using the, the horrible iron in, in the steel <laughs> process. That's right. Those, those barrels are just overheating too quickly. Well, until next time, sir, we will get together and uh, have a great one. Great. Good evening, all. See ya. Bye now.